Hi, it's a new acquisition. It's a forest zither or a vault zither. It's, it takes a lot to string these up. This has Preston Tuners, which was named after an English uh, citron maker in the 18th century who kind of popularized these little mechanical things, and it's tuned up using a watch key. So that's... The thing is, you have to have a loop on this end and then a loop on this end. Anyway, this one I believe was made by Plukton, which based on the, the design that was popularized by Baim in the late 19th, early 20th century. Spruce top with maple back and sides. Um, this is like a multi-piece back. Um, the Baims that I've seen, which really only available overseas, have two-piece backs and stuff, and they came with a glass bridge. This one has a floating wooden bridge. Uh, I acquired this one just recently from a friend of mine that lives over on the St. Croix River. Um, and he didn't need any more. I mean, this one does need a lot of work, but I figured I had some old mandolin strings lying around, some bazooki strings. So I kind of spent some time with my Leatherman and a screwdriver and I wound my own loops, which is why one of these strings is too low. I need to get something, because I had like my old, I don't know, like some, I mean, I had mandolin strings from like almost 30 years ago. So that's kind of on this one right now. Years. But it's an open C tuning and it's a five course instrument. So there's a single string on the first course, which is C. Then it has the rest are double courses. So you have G, C, and then E, and back to G. So, and tradition goes that Martin Luther was um, actually played something like this back when he was on the run from the Catholic Church for the Reformation. Um, and, you know, because he was a musician, because, duh, Lutherans. Um, but I grew up Lutheran, so I know all this stuff. Um, but... There's actually a really cool video of Andy Irvine using uh, Bame Vaults in their... Uh, I think it's Planes of Kildare from like 1976 or 77. He's playing with uh, Paul Brady. It's a great rendition, but he's got it. I think though he's tuning his up like a mandolin, uh, which I've seen a lot of other people that have these do, uh, or a mandola. Um, but right now I'm trying to use it as a traditional or the tuning that it came with some of these booklets that I've been seeing. Um, but yeah, I've seen, yeah, other ones, people have these um, and they will modify them to string them up like mandolins or mandolas. And I just think, well, maybe let's see what, what it sounds like as the real McCoy or the real oh, name of German, not said, anyway. I should learn that tune. Yeah, I learned some 16th century German hits. Yeah, it's got to be a huge calling for that. Maybe make some Joscan or something. Franco-Flemish composers.
Ciao.